last run of the day. It's five minutes before five, so the conditions you're about to find are about the worst you could possibly find. I thought I'd show you just how bad, or actually how good, they are. Now, if the sound's a little bit different, it's just because it's straight through the camera right now. I've just finished up with my snowboarders from today. But I'll show you down the main piece from the centre of town and actually how amazing conditions are considering it's been, I think, six weeks since decent snow. We have 10 centimetres here and there over the last week or so. And it's actually been pretty warm as well, so it has been melting. But at night time, it's been super cold. They've been pumping out the cannons on this piece we're about to go down. So, here we go. I'll pull you in close for a second. I think you can still hear me okay. And you see off to the side of the piece, completely brown. But the piece I'm on right now is about a meter or so depth of really good classic spring. And really good fun to ride on. It might not be super soft and super fresh, but I tell you what, it's pretty good fun riding this stuff. Top tips if you're coming out in spring skiing, so hard pack in the morning and soft in the afternoon, is that the hard pack is solid piece, solid snow, and then it gets softer and softer, and it's difficult, but if you can get two pairs of skis or mix skiing and boarding, it does make things easier as in like soft snow, you want your powder skis, you want a nice fat pair, or a snowboard like I'm on. If you're on your narrow little piece skis, it does make it a little bit harder. Anyhow, thanks for joining us. Give us a wave, come on, come sir.